Hello, hello. I know it's late. But God put something in my spirit. My spirit is grieved. There's a lot of things I'm seeing in today's society. Just the children, these this upcoming generation. It, it's sad. It's a godless generation, a godless country. We got people turn away from God. We I'm gonna talk tonight. And I'm I'm gonna even let you talk. I'm gonna uh, ask them questions. I'm gonna let you ask questions. I'm gonna let you give opinions or whatever on tonight. God bless you. Thanks for joining. But anyway, I titled this Generational Errors. I just want to know where we went wrong. Uh, what I see uh, a lot of these, the, the children, these these teens, a lot of people, the ones that are coming up, and it's not really just a, a racial factor, but we, we see a lot of kids being led astray. We see a lot of followers now. We don't see a lot of kids being leaders anymore. There was a time where there was a lot. See, we were leaders. There's a lot of followers. Everybody wants to follow the crowd. Everybody wants to be the star. Everybody wants to, to be in front. We got a lot of people lifted up in pride. So where did we go wrong? I think as men and women of God, we have to begin to go out and reach these kids. We got a dying generation. And this is why I think kids are turning away from God because there's nobody leading them to God. As we know, God that says that if you draw closer to me, I'll draw closer to you. We know that and God chooses us. But see, we have to begin to preach the word of God. We have to begin to preach wisdom. I mean, apostolic wisdom and begin to give these children, women, we uh, give these uh, these children insight and the young women you know, they're, they're, they're just, they're, they're being led astray. You know, they're exposing themselves. They, you know, they're looking for love in the wrong places. Like, what's happening to the generation? And I think we as people, we have to begin to stand up and begin to, be, we need more youth advocates, you know, to stand up and lead these people. We got disobedient teens. We got teens turning away from education. We got them going the other route. We got teens going to jail now. We got them disobeying their parents, even bucking up, putting their hands on their parents. You know, that what happened to the time where they, they respected the elderly? See, when we was coming up, we respected the elderly. We didn't talk back. We weren't disobedient. We listen, but now the kids are coming more and more disobedient. They're turning away from God. But see, what I think it is now, religion has turned people away. A lot of condemnation has turned children away from the truth. I really think that as the word of God said, train away, train your child, your child the way to go. See, they're not even training. See, parents are just letting their kids run loose. They letting the kids run the household now. You're telling the parents to shut up. You know what I mean? But see, it's something I think as leaders, as men and women of God, I think it's something we have to do. We have to go out and still constantly preach. Because every day there's a young soul dying on, on their way to hell. Only because they didn't hear the truth. Only because they didn't have somebody to, to push them. Because they don't have role models. You don't see too many male figures standing up and participating and volunteering to help these young women and men. See, we need people to get back in the, in the streets. See, I'm a youth advocate. And see, I encourage. I constantly push. You know, I constantly minister the word of God because I want to see souls saved. I want to see somebody graduate. I want to see somebody go higher. You know what I mean? I want to see us uh, black men get degrees. I want to see young women getting degrees. I want to see doctors. I want to see lawyers. I want to see ministers. See, I want to see this thing, but where did we go wrong with the generation? This upcoming generation, as the word says, this, the, in these last days, you know, they're going to be disobedient children. They disobedient, disobeying their children. They turn into drugs. It's a lot of wrong influence now. So we need godly influence. We need a world that's going to speak and, and get and get the, their attention. See, tradition and religion is not doing it. 
But see, God put this in my heart because what happened? We got kids being led by rappers. They want to be the next rapper. They want to be the next drug dealer. But you'll never win in the streets. You'll never win selling dope. You'll never win trying to, to get money and cars. That's not that. But see, this upcoming generation is lost. People are turning away from the truth. But see, we need to get out and minister the word of God. Because every day there's a young soul being led astray by the wrong influences. They're in the wrong environment. See, that's what's turning people away from the truth. Because they don't have somebody that's going to minister and not come out of religion. That's going to sit down and find out and get to the root of why this is happening. You see, but this is the time. We got a dying generation. And they're turning away from God at a fast rate. We got to get out and minister that word. Because, I mean, it's only getting later. The time is now. It's getting dark. It's a pointed time. So it's time for us men and women to get out and minister the word of God. Let's draw these young people in because they turn away from God. They don't want to hear the truth. It's just sad. And see, and I was sitting there last night. We was out to eat last night. And I was just listening to the conversation of these young children and the things they were saying. You know, they were cursing. They didn't care about who was around. The, the disrespect. There was a time when we respected the elderly. We respected people. We came up in a whole different generation. It's a disrespectful generation. But see, they got to hear the truth. But see, they're led away by influence. But it's the time now. where We begin to get out and minister to these children. Grab somebody. Mentor somebody. Because they need it. I just want to send this word, y'all. Share this on Facebook. Share it on Twitter.